Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc's Holiday Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Treevenge. Oh, how do I describe this movie? Well, it starts off with a bunch of random guys going into the forest, chopping down trees for Christmas. And and while they're doing this, the trees are trying to talk to their talk to each other in their own native language. So while they're being hauled away in a truck, they vow revenge. So a bunch of families buy up all the trees that this one guy has. Take them home, decorate them, and then on Christmas Day, the trees get their revenge. And needless to say, there are no survivors. And not really anybody's names in this movie I can remember either. So that was kind of a shame. But... The only reason why I couldn't remember anybody's names is because this is a this is about a 16 minute movie. Yes, it's a short horror movie, and well, I I originally found out about this movie through two different uh, through two different places. One Google, and I thought this was um, honestly I thought this was a this was a joke, but it turns out no, it was an actual movie. And the other one from Blood, Bath, and Beyond, because they, they reviewed this movie, uh, I believe sometime around last week, and I just knew I had to find this movie and watch it and review it, and... Yeah. So, sorry I didn't have much to say about the movie, but again, it's, it's 16 minutes long. You can find it here on YouTube if you, if you want to check it out. I wouldn't recommend it, because now we have to get to the part where I say... Where I, where I tell you guys why this movie sucked. This movie was just plain frickin' brutal. Now again, when I say no survivors, I mean no survivors. The end of it, when the trees do get do strike back against the townspeople, at, at first it seemed kind of silly. I mean, there were... I, I, I will admit, there was some pretty awesome stunt work in the movie. I mean, one guy falls off a telephone pole and... And I, I thought to myself, boy, I don't know how he landed like that, but you know, I'm hoping that snow was real when he landed. Um, it's... I don't know what the budget was on this movie, but uh, it seemed like they were just trying to... I don't know. When 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 the trees came to life, you could... You, you, they, it looked like they grew arms, for crying out loud. And... Yeah. There were a couple of... There were a couple of parts of the movie that really, really, really bothered me. And I'm not going to give away what happened, because... If you watch it, you may know what I'm talking about. Uh... Oh, jeez. This... I don't know what else more to say about this movie. I mean, there's lots of F-bombs. Um, I kind of wanted to like the characters in this movie, but there were only there was only like maybe one likable family. And yeah. And then there were these what? I think these two two girls living in a trailer out in the middle of who knows where. And I kind of felt like in a lot of ways, I mean, you know, the, the guy who sold the trees and everything like that, he got his. Now, I'm kind of sitting there going like, yeah, all right, awesome. But this movie is just... I'll, I'll tell you, when it comes to bad killer tree movies, this is the third one I've actually watched. I've watched From Hell It Came, Trees, and now this one. And between the three of them... I could not tell you which one I hate more. 
But this one is almost crossing the finish line, I'll tell you that much. If they turn this into a full-fledged movie, I will probably refuse to watch it, because apparently the director of this movie, from what I've read, he likes to... He's got a weird sense of humor, I'll put it to you that way. He's... The dude is twisted, so... Yeah. So again, if you want to see it, it's on here on YouTube, but do proceed with very great and extreme caution. But there you guys have it, a review of Treevenge. If you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe, and I'm sorry I reviewed this one. <laughs> if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that might have been something that had something to do with killer plant life that could have been better than any killer tree movie that's ever been made, send it my way and I will get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.